As per usual, the bees are super angry with me. I was just inside the hive and, desper and realized they were in desperate need of more entrance holes. So, if you haven't seen my past videos, there were some design flaws with the way I did this hive. These entrance holes, the original ones that I did there, there, and there, are too high up. Um, obviously the frames go all the way down to a little bit above where the bottom of the board is. And these holes are too high, so they kind of go into the side of the frame. Which is fine, because that's the way they are over there. And they're able to get in and out, because... But the problem is, as you get down the hive, this board in the front here was warped. So it's really, it was really difficult for them on these next set of holes, and basically impossible on these holes, to, to actually get through, get kind of sneak around the side of the, uh, the frames and get in. They can do it a little bit. You can see they're using it, but most of these holes are not easily accessible. And they desperately need more holes. They're basically, I'm getting roadblocks and, and gridlock, I guess you would say. Uh, at these entrances, so they desperately need more entrances. But the problem is, the hive's like on its way to being full. So I'll talk about that in a moment. Very, very happy about that. So I actually had to open this up, take off the inner cover, take a bunch of em the empty ish frames out, put them to the side. I really need to build like a either buy another like small hive or just build a little box to put the frames on while I'm working because they've almost filled this up. Because before I would just take out empty frames, set them aside, and it was no big deal. Now they're working on every single frame in here. And again, get to that in one second. So I had to like get some out of the way, take a spade bit, quickly drill some holes. As you can see, they're not nicely spaced or anything. They're all over the place. Um, in fact, that one right there, I don't know if they'll be able to use because it's up a little too high. But I had to quickly, oh, I just saw one use it. So I quickly had to drill those holes and then drill on another landing board. Now this landing board isn't painted, but it's, pressure treated wood so it shouldn't just rot off hopefully um, but I wasn't able to easily sand the holes because the bees were super angry with me and I had to do this as fast as possible but the good news is they're using those holes they're the ones that they can use here they're using but the new holes they are using pretty frequently so hopefully no more traffic jams and this will all clear up and they'll be able to use all of these I probably will do the same over here but at this process was so disruptive to them that I didn't want to do them all at once I'll come back Maybe later in the season, closer to winter, or maybe early next year, and I'll take care of those. I'll do it sooner if I have to. It feels like they're using all those holes. But anyway. So the reason why they need so many entrances is there's a ton of them. They've actually filled up almost this entire hive. So my previous bee experience has been with, with actual top bar hives, so frameless hives. And I took a couple of... of uh, took a couple of um, techniques from the top bar hives to work on this long Langstroth. Part of that is to, whenever they start filling, hopefully that wind isn't messing with the sound too much. It's very windy here. So the trick is to get, to make sure that they're um, doing straight comb on new frames, you actually pull frame, like em uh, full frames apart and then put empty and do every other full frame, empty frame, full frame, ent empty frame. And I did that. And I actually did it so much because over here I put in new frames because remember I had this part of the hive open but they needed the room and they were building comb in the space where there's no frames and obviously that's a no-no. So I put new co new frames in there and they weren't building on them. So this is actually a couple times ago that I checked on them. So I started interspersing. So I would put full comb, empty, uh, excuse me, full frame, empty frame, full frame, empty frame, full frame, empty frame. And I've been doing that slowly until right now, when I just checked on today before I did all that chaos and reconstruction, I actually interspersed and, and they've actually filled out most of the frames. I mean, the, the, the new ones that I've put in, they have, haven't gotten to yet, but they were working on it as I was working on this. They were actually starting to build comb. It was cool to watch. So I promise next time I do an update on the bees, I'll actually go in the hive and show you. Um, it's kind of chaos, but what I sh will hopefully see is this entire hive filled out. At least with comb, not necessarily full of nectar and other such goodness, but at least comb built out. Because I would say over two thirds of it, over two thirds of the frames have are full with comb, and the rest are either 
they're just barely started or have maybe a little bit of comb on there. So again, next time I'll take you in so you can actually see how nice and full it is. But I'll tell you right now that up until the end, from there to there, there is full comb and some interspersed, uh, excuse me, full frames and some interspersed new frames or partially built frames. So I think that's all I'm going to do for this update because these bees are super angry. I want them to get used to their new holes. I want them to calm down and get back to work of filling out all those frames. And hopefully next time I give you an update, I'll be able to bring you inside and you and I will both see nothing but tons of frames. So yeah, my goal is to have this entire hive filled up before winter. So these bees will survive. So far this season, even with all my, the mistakes to my hive and some other errors here and there on purely my part, this has been easily the most successful hive I've ever had. And I'm very, very excited. This hive's working out. Next time I build one, it'll be much better. I know what I did wrong. Um, oh, and a, the, another note before I let you go, the inner cover's working. Unfortunately, I have ants that are trying to get up and create little, a little um, uh, nest, I guess, under there. So every time I open up the cover, I have to swish them away. So I'll have to look into fixing that. But for right now, it's not a horrible thing because it's not that it hasn't been that big of a deal and they can't get into the actual hive because the inner cover prevents it. And having the inner cover makes this whole taking off the cover and working with the beehive so much easier. So much easier. I'm glad I did it. So anyway, goodbye bees and thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for joining me on this journey.